As the first president to truly embrace modern technology, President Obama, the internet president, recently sat down for a 3D photo shoot to create his presidential bust. It's another crowning moment for the third industrial revolution, or the digital revolution, which has been rapidly changing our world for the last 50 years. We're here at the White House working with the Smithsonian Institution on creating a 3D presidential portrait. And the system that we've brought to be part of this process is called our mobile light stage. It's uh, right over there and we're setting it up right now so that it can be used to record almost certainly the highest resolution digital model that's ever been made of a head of state. The inspiration for the project of creating a 3D portrait of President Obama really comes from the Lincoln Life Mask in our National Portrait Gallery. And I have a Lincoln Life Mask with me today, and they're called Life Masks because these were directly taken from his likeness. So there was plaster put on his face, uh, there were two little holes poked where the nostrils were so he could still breathe. And seeing that made us think, what would have happened if we could actually do that with a sitting president? using modern day technologies and tools to create a similarly authentic experience that connects us to history, to connect us to a moment in time, and connects us to a person's likeness. So the process should go relatively quickly. We will uh, invite the president to sit down. He will be uh, surrounded in front by 50 custom-built LED lights, eight high-resolution sports photography cameras, and an additional six wider-angle cameras. Uh, in about one second, as he holds his presidential pose, he will be illuminated by 10 different lighting conditions, which will change the polarization of the light, the directionality of the light, and will give us everything that we need to understand the shape of his face and how it transforms incident illumination into the images that we see of him. Ten years ago, it was just barely possible to think this could be done. So here we have a structured light 3D scanner, and we're using this to scan the president. They're handheld. They're flashing a fringe pattern of light, and there are stereo cameras recording how that fringe pattern forms over geometry, or in this case, the president's face. The president getting his uh, likeness scanned, uh, as cool as that is, is also about a broader trend that's going on, and that is the third industrial revolution. It's the combination of the digital world and the physical world that is allowing uh, students and entrepreneurs to be able to go from idea to prototype in the blink of an eye. It's been a few days since we've uh, 3D scanned the president and we're looking at some raw data on screen right here. So this is the data that came out of the handheld scanners that Adam Mattel and I were, were using to scan the president. Well, this is the first uh, bus that's created of a head of state from objective 3D scan data. So this isn't an artistic likeness of the president. This is actually uh, millions upon millions of measurements that create a 3D likeness of the president that we can now 3D print and make something that's never been done before. 